Best movie trailer. Best movie trailer. Best movie trailer. The IMAX trailers. Best movie trailer. Best movie trailer. Definitely Black Panther. Just because of the anticipation. Like that alone just made you like, we all know what we're gonna get when we see like, you know, Superman or, you know, uh, any of these comics. Like you, you, know, you just know what you're getting from a comic movie. You know this, this hero, you know the, the situation they're gonna be in, but just the anticipation alone from Black Panther, that was just like, come on, just bring it. Just bring it, give it already. Like, you know, it was just, it was just like, you know, the whole time, just the word of it, it was like a sample. Like, you know, when you go in a, <laughs> like Costco's or something, and they give you little samples, little <laughs> chicken nuggets or something. It's just, it was something that was just, you know, uh, just a feeling you had, and you just knew it was going to deliver. You just, you know, you bet all your money on it. So yeah, definitely it held up. Best movie trailer, hands down, is um, the one for Civil War, where Spider-Man comes swinging at the end, and then it, like the internet exploded. Like, it was over. Everyone was like, oh my god, Spider-Man's in the MCU. He's home. Holy crap. Like, that was a, what, what a time to be alive. Oh yeah, just like, I mean, it was cool because it gave you more of a, that one particularly gave you more of a glimpse of like that battle between everyone, like the actual Civil War part. And then at the very end, the kicker, they gave you Spider-Man after all this cool stuff happened before. Yeah. Best movie trailer. Okay. Decade. In the last decade. So... The way I run my life is I don't watch trailers. Um, so I'm gonna say Endgame. Endgame, the uh, the initial tra teaser trailer was basically the first like 14 seconds of the movie. And even if they showed anything beyond that, I don't know because I refuse to watch trailers. So that was perfect for me because it gave me <laughs> It reminded me how Infinity War ended, but it didn't tell me anything else about the movie. So I'm uh, Endgame. Because <laughs> uh, the lack of the lack. Because of the lack of yeah, the, the lack of information. Gotcha. <laughs> because it wasn't a trailer. The one that came to mind for me was the IMAX trailer specifically for Wonder Woman, and it might be because I was working in um, the Chinese theater at the time, or I was. It might be because I was working in a movie theater at the time, but I just remember getting goosebumps. And maybe it's because at that time, they were like, we have female superheroes now. And so that like, that hit me on that note, but it was like IMAX. It was like female superhero. It was Wonder Woman. And I grew up watching like Super Friends and Justice League um, on Cartoon Network. So I was just like, um, so it hit me. And then I rewatched the trailer last night. And I was like, was it the most, epic for me and I think it's like the last 10 seconds it's like the music and then she's like slow motioning I don't know she's kicking someone over and it's in slow motion and then it shows the W and the music's like da, 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 da. and I was just like oh ooh, I got goosebumps again yeah. so um I mean I think superhero trailers are always really epic but when I was asked that question that's just the one that came to mind and I cried too and yeah. I'm Oh. It's specifically the IMAX one, and I noticed from working in a movie theater, I feel like the first trailer that they released, the shorter one, is always better. As soon as they start making like the two minute one, it's like you're showing everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sticking with DC. It's a man of steel for me. Man of steel. Oh, what? Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. Right. Just because the music alone by Hans Zimmer, and you got Kevin Costner and Russell Crowe as your father figures. And Russell Crowe's voice, voicing over the trailer, and then just... I think it's both, like, both of their voices are in the trailer too, right? Like, yeah. both of his dads. Mm -hmm. got the, got the, got the one, head. there's, the one that I prefer is Russell Crowe voicing over, and then Kevin Costner has lines in it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But the line, I will join you in the sun, before you even watch the movie, and then Superman's looking up at the sun. And then they have that, that scene towards the end of the movie where he gets, like, blasted by the sun, and they have battles, Zod. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z-like battles. They can't do a Dragon Ball Z movie? They can, but they're probably not right. They did it. They do an Avatar and Last Airbender movie? No. <laughs> <laughs> they, should, they shouldn't touch that again. So, best movie trailer, that one was a mix-up for me because it was either Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, like their trailer, because I always like how they, like, they find a nice way to integrate, like, a real song with it. 
which leads me into like what my other choice was was Black Panther's uh, trailer because it had Run the Jewels uh, legend on there and it was just so in sync with everything and like it just made me feel like as as I'm watching the trailer like this movie's going to be like hard you know like hard hitting and gonna be cool but it's gonna be like black it's a black movie <laughs> like like you know that's what I thought so I. I, between those two, right, I would say Black Panther over Guardians, but like volume, volume two, like an honorable mention. Yeah. That got me liking Running Jewels. Exactly, like me too. I downloaded the whole album yeah, yeah. <laughs> that that song was on, like immediately. I, I, it was part of my workout playlist. Like I lost like 40 pounds. I was Run the Jewels behind it <laughs> all the time. <laughs> so it's like, all right, so they got a place in your heart then. Yeah, like, like it, memories. Whatever. Exactly, all like it was, it was part of my metamorphosis. Right, right. But the only Batman movie to come out this decade was Dark Knight Rises, and no. <laughs> so. It's, it's a good Batman film if you don't compare it to Dark Knight and Batman Begins.